everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Thimbleweed Park Let's Play. Just thought of something real quick uh, before we get started. Should have done this before we started, um, but I wanted to go ahead and save here. Let's actually switch over to Dolores. So she charged her battery, but they wouldn't let Ray go down here because she was a fed. So I'm going to have Dolores come down here. Wee. Bye, Dolores. And we'll see if they'll let her come down here. And if not, we could try Ransom. Because I think Franklin is pretty much, we're done using him. We can't really use him for much else. Unless it's from the hotel or the tomb. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, pizza guy. Dolores Edmund, are you gonna use your mind control ray on us? I uh out, out, out. Oh, okay, Before she can't even come mind. down here. So it has to be ransom. Ransom's the one that's gotta go here. I can't believe we figured that out, by the way. A having the math trophy on Dolores and using it on that thing was just a whim like 100% completely a whim to get the radioactive and then the only reason I knew to use it on the water was <laughs> like because it was just in the ouch it was in the inventory and I didn't think of anything of it I was like what can we use to dye that water all right let's have ransom go down there they might like him bye ransom <laughs> have fun because if it's not you I don't know who else unless we can we get our disguise do we have a disguise back <laughs> let's try him this game is great <laughs> I love this game it's so much fun trying to figure out what to do next and some of it's so wacky though like that's the thing about adventure games is some of the solutions are weird Ransom, welcome to our oh, important okay. meeting. We were waiting for you. And don't forget to take your goodie bag before leaving. Hey, Chet. Thanks for coming. Stay vigilant. What is, what this, is place? this place? It's our secret bunker. Brett built it so we can finally be safe from the government and their high-frequency mind control waves. Uh. They only work above ground. Are you even a pizza guy? It's just a cover, <laughs> so I can go find new recruits without drawing the eye of the man. It's like Brett always tells me, you got to blend in. Oh, oh and a God. giant slice of talking pizza totally <laughs> blends in here in a town that doesn't have a pizza joint, right? Uh, exactly. Hide in plain sight. <laughs> Idiot. Gotta mm. run. I think I left my hot plate on. Gotta run. What a waste of time. Don't forget to take a goodie bag. Okay. Well, let's see what's down here in the bunker. We've got goodie bags. We're starting the meeting now. Please gather around. So, is that the postal worker? Who's that guy? Hello, all. Thank you for coming to this very important <laughs> informational meeting. I'm Brett Lockdown, and that's my brother Chet guarding the elevator. <laughs> Hiya. First, <laughs> I have to ask any feds here? No way. All right, then, <clears throat> let's begin. Have you heard the signals? The government is controlling your mind, they are taking away your free choice. We are becoming mindless <laughs> sheep with no control over our destiny. Fight back. Are you with us? Yeah! Squawk! Yes! I'm with you! Yeah! <laughs> That's all for now. Stay vigilant. And don't forget to take a goodie bag before you leave. Ow! Ow! No pinching! Out of the way! Ow! Out of the way! No shoving! No pinching! No pinching! Okay, can I take the goodie bag? I already 
Got one. All right, can we open the Goodyear egg? Got a foil wrapped brick and a floppy disk. It's pretty heavy. Uh, it's a brick wrapped in aluminum foil. Looks like a strange floppy disk. It says Silbury Hacker Boot Disk on the label. I bet we should give that to Dolores. Is there anything else we can do down here? No dust down here? I can't go that way. <laughs> Alright, no specks of dust down here, huh? Alright, let's go back up. Dolores probably needs that. I don't know what we would need with the brick. Let's give you this. Here, take this. I'm tired of carrying it. And let's use this. Oh no, look at this. Looks like a strange floppy disk. It says Silbury Hacker Boot Disk on the label. Ha hacker Boot Disk. Okay, well, first things first, we know we can do something here and get that uh, battery into the factory. And then what we're probably going to do, or in, into that car and move the car to unlock the last little key to get into the factory. What we're probably going to have to do is maybe ThimbleCon with the floppy disk. Alright, use this here there we go time clock four now hacker boot disk I I feel like we need to do something here at ThimbleCon Um, and because there's that computer. Pew, pew, what if pew. we give the disc to him? Use the disc on here. The disc is in the wrong format. Okay, what if we went pew, to. Pew, pew. Um. The mansion. We went up to our room and used it on our own computer. Diggin! He didn't say it. <laughs> we went by too fast. Alright, use the disc here. The disc is in the wrong format. Where else is there a computer to use hacker boot disc? Um, maybe up in Chuck's, uh, in Chuck's room? Where else was there a computer that took floppy disk? Oh, uh, wait, 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 I saw that. I see you there, dust. These must just start appearing. Let's get in here. No computer in here. Okay. Um. The cell phone has no reception. Of course it doesn't. Let's go right here secret bunker. <laughs> All right. What was it? 4468, four, I believe, for a hint. Just tell us what Welcome direction back to go. To the hint, Tron 3000. How can I help you? I need a hint about getting into the factory. Security times. Instructions for this task can be found somewhere. Look around for them first. I did. Look inside the rooms around the back of the factory. Wait, what? Thank you. Goodbye. The rooms in the back of the factory? We 
couldn't get into any rooms back here. Oh my god. I didn't even know this was crumpled paper. paper. It's a map of the abandoned factory. Oh, is that his dad? That's little Ray. I need to bring How touching. If you like kids and pets, which I don't. I need to bring him here to look at that. Okay, we're in the front. We got to go into that room. He needs to see that picture. I was cute as a kid. Oh. I miss dad. There's his watch in the photo. This place is a mess. Where are those going? They're not showing up in his, uh... It's a scrap of worthless paper. He's just picking up the place? Cause is there something under it then? Yeah. Security handbook. Pilotronics Inc. Factory security is very important to us. The Pilotronics factory contains highly proprietary machinery and technology. A breach of security is a breach of each of us. When making the rounds, be sure to check into each security box within five minutes of the last box. When the correct time is entered, the station light will turn green. If the factory AI is engaged, it's important to never enter the factory unless the SR01s have been disengaged. Pilotronics Inc. will not be responsible for any death or dismemberment that results in failure to shut down all factory AI before entering. Failing to check in at the proper times could result in factory lockdown. If factory lockdown occurs, the PF001 master tube may need to be reset. The CEO is the only one with the proper instructions for resetting the PF001. For security and time code information, call 1525. 1525. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 1110. 1110, okay. That's going to be him with the watch. For station one is 1110, and then you have to do five minute increments. Two. Whoops. Where's one? On the other side? Is this one? Yes. Okay. Use this here. What do we say? 1110? Okay. Um, and then two would be... The doors are locked. And there's no place 11, for 15. Okay. And then um, three would be eleven twenty. Three was on this side. Yep. And then eleven twenty five. Use this here. All right. It's a shame we had to use the hint tron so many times in this last act, but I mean, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Okay, those are lit up, so now we can probably get in there. I'm still proud of everything that we were able to figure out. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is not an easy game. And we play we're playing it on hardcore too, so if I, I bet if we played it on easy we wouldn't have to use use so many hints. The doors right. moved a little bit but stopped. They must be stuck. Are you serious? I think they're unlocked. I think they're unlocked. Here. I think I see what's happening. Really? <laughs> okay. I see what's happening. Bum 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 ba bum bum ba bum bum. This is kind of cool. You need all four of them to get in there. Someone could squeeze through now. Okay. Then we'll get Dolores in there. I think I can squeeze through the opening now. You said it, Clown. This what are we seeing? Can't be. It's not possible. What have you done, Uncle Chuck? Oh, <laughs> new part. Part seven. The madness. What in the world? Huh. Those look like bouncing wings. <laughs> Shut up, Ransom. Um, so we can go down here. To lower level. And we can go there. Alright, we gotta be watching out for dust. Uh oh. It's a closed panel for the factory security system. Did she have that weird tool? Who is that weird tool? You do. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important... Open the side I don't of that. Know what that is. Looks electronical. It doesn't seem to fit that. I'm sure it has a very important <laughs> use near the end of the game. It's almost electronical, huh? Um, do you have anything? Warning, SR01 robot oh, in patrol mode. What? I see. Danger. Danger. SR01 robots in attack mode. Warning. SR01 robots in patrol, in patrol mode. mode. Danger. Danger. SR01 robots in a warning. SR01 ro danger. Danger. SR01 robots in attack mode. Warning, SR01 robots in put danger. Danger, SR01 robots in attack mode. Um. Danger, 
Warning, SR01 robot. Okay. That jumper board is for an SR01 robot security system. I'll need to find a manual to reprogram the robots without killing us all. Need to find a manual. Well, where the heck? Um. Well, we're all in here, so we must have the manual on us, right? Um, can I open this brick? Hard to unwrap. Oh. C4. <laughs> oh, I didn't I didn't know that we had that. Chuck's journal. Handbook. Um if the factory AI is engaged, important to never enter the factory unless the SR ones have been disengaged. Okay, well where do we find a manual? Can we use the C4? Don't use it on there. Come down here. Uh, hmm. Where would we find a manual? Can we go out of this place now? What happens when you go over here? I can't go out there. Those robots would kill me. Okay. Can she use her phone? The cell phone has no reception. Um... A manual, huh? Can we leave? We can. Where would there be a manual for that stuff? Chuck's office, probably, huh? Let's just go look real quick. All right, Lair. You can't come in. No. Oh, okay, Too we need Dolores to come back over here. Kid. You'd break your neck. I have no idea what you just <laughs> said. Dig in. <laughs> okay then. I'll be back. All right, we do need Dolores to come back here. A manual. Well, okay, we're gonna check one place first. I know we're over on time, but we're gonna check his office first, although I don't ever remember seeing that manual. We would have picked it up. Yeah. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never okay. let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. We still also need to do this. Alright, let us then try. Ah, I took the long way. Um, the other thing I want to try is in here and see if there's a manual. I see there is a manual on the uh -huh. SR-01 security system. It's in section 2.1. 2.1, huh? Uh, okay, let's just go up here. Five, two point three, two point two, two point one. Um, mm, 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 mm. Here. That doesn't seem to work. Pick it up. 
Okay. The SR-01 security robot is the most aggressive and secure robot for sentry and protection duties. It can guard anything from simple rooms to large factories with the complete confidence of a pilotron tube. Advanced forward, backward, and side-facing radar provides complete coverage of the surrounding area. The SR-01 has been custom programmed to ignore the three laws of robotics and is extremely dangerous if used incorrectly. It is advised that a complete course in SR-01 certification is obtained before attempting maintenance. The easy access remote jumper programming box can be used to customize the type of guard duty you require. Any mode from passive monitoring, scheduled deterrence, to seek and destroy is available. Every two to three weeks, the robot should be shut down for maintenance by jumpering the red jumper to D23, the green jumper to H34, and the blue jumper to F45. Alright. Well, we'll do that. Now I can reprogram those guard robots. Yep. We will do that in the next episode. So, guys, thank you so much for your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Thimbleweed Park Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye everyone.